Hi everybody, it's Jeff Player. I'm coming to you today from ProTech Dental Labs in Vancouver, Canada. ProTech is a full service uh, dental laboratory. We have it to be in the orthodontic department today. I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing with the Medit apps. Uh, over 50% uh, of our workload now comes into the laboratory uh, by iOS scans and we use those Medit apps to help us with some of the digital processes that are part of that uh, digital workflow. Okay, as we look over Jonathan's shoulder here, he is um, in the Medit Link app box. And in particular today, we're gonna look at the DCM file converter. So we start by creating a new case. And what we're doing is grabbing files that have arrived sometimes via a different interval scanning system like 3Shape and those files may have arrived in a format that's not as useful for us. So we grab the DCM file from a folder where our intraoral scans are, uh, are kept when they enter the laboratory. And Jonathan gets the correct files and brings it into the Medit software so that we can convert from DCM to STL. And the STL file format is something that we require for um, some of the um, auto basing that we're doing. We outsource for, uh, for some auto basing to be done on our models by a company that incorporates some AI technology. They, they require the STL file. And it's also needed for designing in um, some of our design softwares like ExoCAD. Now that uh, the file has been converted to STL, Jonathan's next move is to drag those new files into the case and then delete to delete the original DCM files and then we're ready for design. Hi, I'm Nashil. I'm the Meta Trainer at ProTech. My job is to ensure that our customers have a smooth transition from traditional impressions over to digital impressions or just switching over from a different iOS platform over to MetaLink. When I'm out on the field talking to dentists, I find that the biggest advantages with MetaLink would be that there's no click fees or subscription costs. And the fact that the uh, system is an open system means that you can take these files and utilize them in different types of software and platform. And this is extremely beneficial to the end user. One of the other benefits that I find with MetaLink is using a cloud technology. So I personally am all about cloud uh, storage, especially working for ProTech, which is a dental um, tech laboratory. Uh, I find that it's extremely uh, stable. I find the ease of accessing files from different computers uh, makes our workflow extremely easy. I would say the number one wow factor that I encounter um, when I work with other dental professionals is the image quality. Um, so especially when a patient sees their teeth in 3D using this high definition technology, it really enhances communication between the dentist and the patient. Hi, my name's uh, Brent Stapleton. I'm a CAT CAM supervisor here at uh, ProTech Dental. So uh, I've been working with um, uh, CAD CAM technology for 12 years, uh, about the same time uh, accepting digital impressions. Uh, and that's where uh, the Medit uh, comes in uh, because we have to analyze the digital impressions because uh, often if something goes wrong, we have to check the accuracy of the digital impressions uh, or also the accuracy of our 3D printers and try and uh, pinpoint where that uh, error occurred if we have any discrepancies in fit. Uh, so what we do, uh, the first thing we do is check our model printer. So we will 3D scan our models and create a digitized version and then superimpose them over the original file and then look for any sort of discrepancies. We'll use a, a heat map. So we did use a software, a 3Shape software uh, that came with our, because we are a 3Shape lab and we design a 3Shape. Um, but the software itself was only supported till uh, Windows 7. Uh, so we were, you know, really looking for an alternative and then Medit came along and provided us with this function. Uh, which has become extremely useful and now we use it every day uh, for either uh, checking old versus new impressions. Uh, so if a doctor resends an impression, if a, a case fails, then we can actually show them where uh, the discrepancy occurred between the two impressions or also uh, check our models. We verify the accuracy of our printers every day uh, using that. And because they are three-shaped files, uh, Medit had a built-in 
uh, DCM converter, which was great because we had to manually uh, uh, convert them to STL before. Uh, so that was uh, an excellent uh, and useful function that came with it. Okay, so what, what Eric is doing here is um, uh, we have a, a, a dentist who uh, uh, had concerns about the uh, contacts uh, for a case. So we are just double checking uh, with this dentist uh, that our model accuracy is, is, is on par. So right there is a scan of the digital model, so you can see the articulator on the back of it, so we know that's, uh, that's after it's come out of our carbon printers. And now we're taking the original digital impression uh, that the doctor sent to us. And he's uh, just converted it. So because the impression is in our uh, three-shape system, it is a DCM file. Uh, so he just quickly hit that DCM function and converted it to STL. So now we can bring it into the uh, medit design function. And this is, is, is the main part. Uh, that we get to where we superimpose them and just look for any discrepancies. Uh, and it's got a nice uh, heat map uh, function so we can fix uh, the discrepancies out. So then he hits the analyze function. Uh, so you can see we're looking at the contacts there and the contacts are all green. So it shows it's, it's within uh, below uh, five one hundredths of a millimeter, which is an acceptable discrepancy for contact. We use this uh, several times a day for uh, checking model accuracy and also uh, comparing uh, old digital impressions versus new uh, if there's any failures in a crown. The one idea I have about app development is I would like to see an app that uh, allows feedback to be sent between the dental clinic and the laboratory. I think this will be extremely useful uh, to create lifetime communication and just feedback on, on a case-by-case -case basis. Traditionally, labs would send uh, a feedback card to their uh, dentist, and you know now that we're going digital, it just makes sense to, to move everything over to digital. And I think it will truly benefit the uh, the patient, the clinic, as well as the lab if we can exchange ideas and feedback on a more lifetime basis. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative as well as useful. Until next time.